The iPhone X is maybe the most interesting iPhone of past years since Apple tries to do something new again. In this short hands-on, we'll take a look inside the box and the design in detail before the review comes out in the near future. Inside the box is some literature, some stickers, the iPhone X in space grey, the earpods, a lightning to 3.5mm headphone jack adapter, a USB cable and a 5V 1A power adapter. For fast charging, you need to buy the right cable and power adapter additionally. The smartphone itself comes in a new edge-to-edge -edge design with the notch on the top, which looks similar to the Essential phone. It includes the light and proximity sensor with front speaker for phone calls and stereo sound and the 7 megapixel true depth camera which is used to unlock your device via Face ID. It also enables you to use the stage lighting feature and an emojis. A Touch ID sensor is missing though and the home button is replaced by gestures. The 5.8 inch OLED display with the displayed resolution takes the biggest space. Even if it comes with 1.1 inch more display, the X is not much bigger than an iPhone 8, just heavier. The frame is made of stainless steel. On the right is the power button and the single SIM slot without a micro SD slot, on the left the power buttons and the silent mode switch, nothing on the top, and on the bottom the microphone, the lightning slot and the speakers. The back, according to Apple, is made of the most durable glass which was ever used in a smartphone. With a 5 in the mouse scale, they probably don't mean the scratch resistance. Getting some protection is a good idea. For now I'm using the Tempered Glass Plus by Invisible Shield for the display and the Vesta case by Moshi. As of the iPhone 8, wireless charging with the Qi standard is supported and also works with the case on, as long as the case is not conductive. Other than that, we have the 12 megapixel dual camera with dual OIS, quad LED flash and the microphone for noise cancelling. In total, the quality and the detail work is great and yes, I actually think the design looks pretty nice and the handling is quite good. Ask your questions about the iPhone X in the comments. If you like this video, I'd be happy if you'd give us a like, otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the review. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.